Or you read that passage and you say, oh my, that's what it means. I get it now. It changes you. It makes you smarter spiritually so that you're able to comprehend more. Now, it's the first time you read it, it's pretty exciting. You've never seen it before. And the hundredth time you read it, you learn new things. It doesn't change its meaning, but you learn more. And you have a broader base to base what you know on. Each section of scripture helps you understand others. As the Holy Spirit, through scripture, infiltrates your mind, you gain strength and wisdom. You become more determined, more steadfast in your faith. It gets firmed up. And then, as you apply what you're reading, because as you read it more often, as it, you build that knowledge base, it sticks with you. It affects you. You're about to do something, and, and then you remember a passage of Scripture that says that's wrong or that's unwise, and, uh, and you're restrained from doing something that would be very foolish. You see, you're learning muscle memory. So Peter says that my goal is to stir you up by way of reminder so that we will never forget. Mm. And so every reading that we have here, every song we sing together to each other, by the way, every sermon, every class lesson, Every scripture and illustration that is used teaching those precious children is designed to do that, to create spiritual muscle memory, to firm things up, to make it impossible to forget. You know what our goal with these children is? To teach them things that they can never escape sweet and wonderful truths. Because you know very well, someplace down the road, these 10-year-olds are going to decide they know more than God does. And they're going to go their own way. But in the back of their mind, he's saying, uh -uh, I've got something better for you. And then they're going to get into a mess. And they're going to think, what am I doing? because they still remember the time in their life when they heard these truths that gave them hope and joy and a future. And finally, they're going to grow to the point where they overcome their stubbornness and their rebellion, and they're going to say, I'm going to turn back to God. That's what we want to do. We want to stick some things in there that they can never escape. So whether it takes five years or 50 years, God's going to reel them back in. Now, wouldn't it be good for all of us to be that way? And I, in our individual conversations, most of us have been there. There have been times that we've thought, I, I, I really messed up. I've gone too far. I can't, there's no place for me in God's kingdom. But then we're drawn back to him. By the time we turn our backs on him, we can't get too far away. Because as we do, it's like there's a rubber band attached to us. We end up having to snap back to him. Where else do we go? To whom shall we go, Lord? You have the words of eternal life. <laughs> That's the goal. Oh, sure, I wish that our Christian growth was just one steady line, you know? Only growth, never setbacks. I don't know anybody it's ever worked that way with. But the goal is that we keep coming back to him. By the way, Peter did that, didn't he? 
Who was that guy that denied Jesus three times before the cock crowed? Who was it? That's right. I mean, a guy who did something like that, in Jesus' worst moment when he's dying for Peter, Peter's denying him. How could he ever show his face to Jesus again? How could he have the gall to write two letters as if he has some kind of authority? <laughs> ah, he came back to Jesus and Jesus welcomed him back and forgave him. And he gave Peter a, a powerful ministry in the kingdom of God as one who knew what it was like to do the worst and knew what it was like to be around the best. And Peter could never forget that, and so he doesn't want us to. So what we need to do is jump in with both feet, with all of our heart, with all of our mind, and never forget. Pray with me. God, please keep reminding us. Remind us through our contacts with each other. Remind us through those songs some of which we've been singing for more years than we can remember. And when we sing them, Lord, may the message ring true to us. Oh, Lord, when we open your precious word and we read it, remind us. Help us to never forget. And make, it, make us better through it. Stronger. More capable. We're able to see you as you really are. Help us to remember. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing this song to each other. And let's remember. My life, my love, I give to thee. Thou Lamb of God who died for me. service says, church, go give them heaven. <laughs> I like that. Let's do it.